Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk and uh, today we're back on this little um, Auric Atmos project and I've been doing a little bit more um, digging around on it um, what I'm having a look at now, obviously we've got that issue with the video on it if you uh, remember from the other video, I'll just switch it on and I'll just show you this is what we're getting on um, screen at the moment so the computer's actually booting but um, we've got a major sync issue as you can see it's it's not happy there now what I've done I've been uh, looking at this what I've done I've tried the um, RF output and I got absolutely zilch I got absolutely zero um, on the RF output uh, this basically uses the same modulator as a spectrum so I thought I'd try a comp mod on it uh, like you would on a spectrum so I dis disabled the uh, modulator and just wired the um, input straight to the um, output and again absolutely zilch out of it so what I did next I've just got the circuit diagram um, up on the computer here it's um, a bit close to my um, light so it's a bit tricky to get this with the camera but what we're looking at here, um, let me just find something to point with. This um, here is the uh, ULA. That there's the um, ULA. And up here, can we see that on um, camera? Let's see. Oh, I'm over there. Right, up here, this is your RGB um, output. If we follow it along, we've got, um, that's IC22 there, which comes down and is connected directly to the RGB output of the ULA. Now tapped off that we have IC23 there, which is IC23, yes, we've got IC23 and then um, further on down from here, this little bit here, that's part of IC25, that's on the sync line and then we've got the RGB line there. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would try and isolate um, the RGB output from what derives the composite output, so what I've done if we um, come back down onto the board here is that there that's the ULA this here is um, the um, sorry ugh. this is the Atmos sorry I couldn't remember what the bloody computer I was working on then uh, that's the Auric Atmos as ULA now that feeds through its RGB lines, I see. Oops, let's get that on camera. Uh, I see 22, which is there, which then directly feeds through that little resistor pack behind it, the um, dim plug there, which is your um, RGB output. Now, as well as the ULE feeding, I see. Sorry, it's quite hard to do this. Um, I need to get a little, uh, little tripod, really, so I can um, do this down on the bench. I'm trying to hold it, talk, and point, and it's uh, not easy for me. Uh, anyway, so that feeds IC22 for its RGB um, output. It also feeds IC23. Now, IC23 here... Oops, let's get that on the uh, camera again. IC23 is here, and it's a 256 by 4 prom. So what I thought I would do is, like I said, I would pull um, IC23, which was here. I've um, pulled it out, and I've um, just fitted a socket. And I would also pull out IC25 here. So if there was anything on that part of the circuit um, that which drives the composite output, which then feeds the modulator, and that was upsetting. Every, you know, that was what was upsetting the sync signal. It put, by pulling them two ICs, I've basically isolated all that circuitry. So I've isolated the modulator, I've isolated these ICs here, which are to do with deriving the composite signal. Um, so all I've got connected up now is the ULA's RGB output straight to IC22, which is a, um, I believe it's a buffer, um, it might, it's an inverted buffer, I think, or something like that. It's something fairly simple, but it's not something I've actually got in stock. It's an SN74LS365AN, um, if you want to pull the data sheet up on that. I, I'm not actually thinking that's faulty. I don't think that's faulty. I think, unfortunately, it's the uh, ULA that's uh, at fault on this one 
because I've had the scope on it and as though I can get something that looks pretty much like a um, sync pulse and an RGB pulse they're not right and um, what I mean by not right is I cannot get them to lock on my scope and get a nice stable waveform it drifts all the time um, it drifts and that's if I scope it on the ULA or I scope it on the output of the um, IC22 it's the same it's got this uh, I'll, I'll see if I can show you um, I don't know if this will pick up we'll go on to red which is um, pin 21 on the ULA so um, we'll connect to pin 21 on the ULA on the ULA Let's, uh, I'm not getting anything at all on my scope there now um, Oh, that's because I've uh, I've lost from lost my ground connection. Just one second, and we'll unplug the uh, RGB. It really is hard to un hard to do this with uh, one hand. I will tell you that. Uh, there we go. Right, that's out. We'll uh, connect the ground back up. Oops. Connect the ground back up. Let's see if we can just scope. Uh, no, I'm not getting oh I've got it switched off up there that's it right now hopefully we can yeah now we can see this on the oscilloscope but that is what we're getting on the uh, RGB signal that's on the red portion of the RGB signal now that's not right because it should be locked you should have like a fairly locked stable pattern no matter how much I tweak with the I actually thought my scope was faulty uh, I thought that the um, hole control on the scope was playing up but no I cannot get that to um, lock and become stable I've even tried another computer's RGB output just to prove that the um, scope's not doing something daft so there's definitely unfortunately a fault on the um, ULA I think on this now fortunately I've um, just ordered a new ULA um, from Bulgaria of all places I believe that the um, Oricatmus was actually very very popular in um, Bulgaria and there are apparently a lot of um, spare ULAs out there so I'm um, getting one shipped over to me um, as we speak I ordered it and it was only four quid delivered so uh, as soon as that arrives I will uh, whip out that ULA put a socket in and I'll try the new ULA if that doesn't work I think it can only be that um, IC22 there like I said I don't think it is I think it is the ULA but um, we shall see when the new part arrives so I'm going to leave this one there for now um, just a quick update and like I said I've uh, gone handheld so um, you can s actually have a look at the board in a little bit more detail uh, I'll just point out a few of the um, usual things obviously we've got our uh, we've got our RAM there including the one that I've um, changed to get the computer actually working and then obviously we have the ULA we have all the video circuitry here our um, speaker our proper um, AY sound chip we have our uh, ROM up there we have our um, 6502 processor and that's basically like a uh, PLA type uh, device I think it, de it um, deals with yeah it's a 652222 so it's like a serial IO type um, device for the uh, 6502 so it really is a very very simple um, board um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, and I will get back to this when the uh, new ULA arrives. So, uh, thanks for watching that for now, and uh, goodbye.